Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another beautiful day in May Sarawak So today I'll be doing a review and talking about the things that I like and I don't like about my new KTNS right now Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications and like the video and on that note, let's get into the video Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the specs of my KTNS right now. So it's a 1 cylinder 4 stroke engine with 125 cc. It uses front and rear disc brakes. The top speed of this thing is 90 kilometers. And it has a 12 liter fuel tank. And the ground clearance is 150 cm. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the things that I like about my Rhino. Alright, so the first thing that I like about my Rhino is that if you look at it from the side, it looks like a Ducati Monster. So the second thing I like about my Rhino is that it has a digital... What is this? A speedometer, is it? I don't know what this is called. Speedometer, techo, uh, techometer. Alright, so the third thing I like about my Rhino is that the front forks and rear suspension is like the perfect setting it's like not too soft and not too stiff the fourth thing that i like about my rhino is that it doesn't have a clutch because uh, on the atv over there it has a clutch and i mean i know to use it but it's kind of annoying like just to use clutch Alright, so I'm gonna have to make this quick because my phone battery is on 10% and I need to get this quickly done. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about the things that I don't like about my Rhino. The first thing that I don't like about my Rhino is... Wait, hold up. I'm gonna stir it up a bit for a while. The first thing that I don't like about my Rhino is that the headlights are yellow. Same as uh, low beams. It's kind of ugly uh, seeing seeing yellow headlights. All right. So the second thing that I don't like about my Rhino is the exhaust. Like look, uh, here, the sound of this uh, suitcase. Honestly, it's not bad lah for stock exhaust, but. Who knows? Uh, in the future, when I, I have when I have enough money, I'm gonna buy a new muffler. All right. So the third thing that I don't like about my Rhino is the compartment. There is no compartment uh, on this Rhino except for this uh, spare tools inside here. Huh? All right. So the fourth thing that I don't like about my Rhino is that you can't really seat two people on this bike. Uh, you can remove this cover to reveal the seat you just have to unscrew uh, this uh, screw here so it's been like three months i've owned this bike and i've already got some beautiful scratches like there is one over here and this on the on the brake lever this happened yesterday lah. Uh, someone i know uh, try to get off the bike and just do it on the opposite side and there's one on the actually there's none on the foot brake but there is one on the on the how to say this on the foot brake the rear brake all right guys i guess that's it for today's video please make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications and like the video and comment about what you think about my new Rhino. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, boys. The first thing that I like about my, my Rhino, that stupid sound, bro. It has a digital... Uh, bro, what is this? Orange, I don't like orange. Blue is better. The perfect 
said thing. He's like, not too soft and not too stiff. Come on, my like, airplane. Nina. It is high. Yay. All right, so the fourth. Shut up. All right, so I'm gonna have to speed this video up a bit because I'm on 10% on my battery. Shut up. Uh.